All right, welcome back to part three of our ball hawking video. Mm -hmm. I'm Justin. I'm back with Noah. Um, we will be finishing up uh, what we actually didn't discuss, the one that we remembered after we were done filming our first two. <laughs> so our topics are TD Comfort Zone, which was Noah actually brought up in the video. Yeah. I thought it was something different. After filming the video, I realized it was something different, and I we wanted to re-bring that up. Uh, 200 level live game fall balls we're going to mention, and where I've seen... Uh, mm -hmm. The areas where the majority of them go if you want to get a ball in the, if you're seeing the 200 level where to purchase a ticket um, getting toss ups in between innings uh, catchers pitchers never toss up in between innings uh, where to get it from the catchers and where to get it from the fielders mm -hmm. um, and also umpire balls and yeah. how to get the umpire balls after the game because every stadium is different um, we'll let you know where the umpires enter and exit the field in Toronto as a lot of questions have been asked um, on online and twitter um, so we're gonna start with the TD Comfort Zone. Um, this section is I don't know it's pretty recent, isn't it? Like no, it, well it's kind of new for TD. It used to be HSBC Comfort Zone. It's always been premium seats there. Oh, okay. Because they have the restaurant in the concourse there, you know. Mm. I know yeah. it is extra cushioning too. It's softer yeah. to sit. I know they do. Uh, in the middle of the game, they do a move of the game. I think to the TD Comfort yeah, Zone. Yeah, they move a family um, there or something. So uh, apparently it's always been the name of his name. It's section 223 to 225, right behind right behind home play in the 200 level. Um, I know I mentioned something different earlier. Um, in you thought it was the ones behind home play, yeah. like in the very front. Yeah. So yeah. I realized afterwards what it actually was, and it yeah. is a 200 level. You'll see like a big green yeah. section behind home play. Um, a lot of balls do go there, foul balls. I've seen maybe two, three a game, possibly. I've seen more than that. Uh, Sometimes like five, depends six. On the game. It depends on the game then. Um, player gets right on top of the ball. Under it. Right under it. Right, right it under it. Fouls straight Timing back. is perfect, but they don't. Huh? Their swing isn't bad. Yeah. Timing is, is, isn't good. Um, so if you're in the 200 level, TD Comfort Zone, great comfortable seats, unlike yeah. a lot of the other seats, unless you're sitting um, right in game action. Yeah. Um... Umpire toss-ups in between it are after the game. Um, the umpires exit in by at the visiting team dugout, yeah. uh, closer to first base, so not closer to home, farther away. Usually, where the players enter and exit in between innings. Yeah, right. Catcher goes closer to the plate. Everyone else enters away mm -hmm. closer to first. So that's where the umpires are. Make sure you know their name. You call them up by their name. It's tough, though, when the Jays win and the stupid horn goes off and it's really loud. That's true. And then also, it's usually so crowded there. Like, there's like 10 people maybe trying for it. And then sometimes they can't even hear you. So there's a downfall. Try to get there early. Um, better chance if the Jays are losing. Yeah, if they're getting blown out like 14 nothing, you got a good. You could even sit in that section for like the 8th and 9th inning. I was just going to say, make sure they're for around yeah. the 8th. Like I like what I'll usually do. I'll get there by the ninth inning, like minimum, like top of the ninth, even if the Jays are uh, losing, because it's it's good to get a seat. Like once you see uh, a couple people go, like that are sitting on the aisle, then you just go down there and take their seat. Mm -hmm. Um. And finally, um, live games. We talked about where to get foul balls or hot spots. Yeah. Uh, one place we did miss is the 200 level. There are the odd home runs in the 200 level. So if you have an, if you're in the 200 level home run area, you do have a shot. It is rare. Best places f um, for 200 level foul balls is in 219, 222 area. 219? Um, yeah. Where's that? No, it's like 244. That's You're talking about the home run. Yeah, what are you talking about? I'm talking about foul ball. Oh, 219, is. the green. We're, oh. we're actually looking at the map right now. So. Yeah, I see it. So yeah, the 219-222 okay. uh, area is great for foul balls, um, especially this past five years mm -hmm. uh, with heavy righties, especially the last two years with Tulo here at the end, yeah. Donaldson, Edwin Batista over here, Martin is down here, even Pilar, is over, their whole lineup's a righty. You only yeah. really have Saunders and Carrera. But Saunders so, is gone. That too. That'll um, be in the next video. Yeah. Yeah, so... We, we really don't have much else to say about Roger Sarah. We've talked about this so much these past three videos. Yeah, and I guess if it's a lefty batter, you're looking at section... 230, maybe. Right? 
226, 228, I would say. Yeah. To tighten it up. If, uh, if it's lefty better, 226, 228. Righty better, better, you're looking at 219, 222 mm -hmm. um, for foul balls. So we've covered TD Comfort Zone, 200 level game foul ball, how to get toss ups in between innings, yep. umpire balls, uh, BP. We already talked about that know. before. We've talked like almost an hour about this. Can no, you know. believe that? That's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, three videos. This is actually our shortest one. Yeah. So um, I guess that's it. Unless you have anything yeah, else that's to add, do it. I don't know. Well, I don't. We don't really have anything to explain. We're good. Um, so we're gonna end it. So uh, thank you for watching. We hope yeah. you enjoyed it. If you watched all three of these, like from start to finish, good on you. Like that means a lot to us. Mm -hmm. So and uh, feel free to tweet us too if yeah. you have any questions. Um, about the videos, any videos, and if you have any questions that you feel Twitter will be in the cover. description below. Yeah, right. Also, uh, comment on our videos. Yeah, come on, leave a comment. Why not? Um, I'm also going to bring up that I'm going to try and make a ball hawking uh, live in game mm -hmm. and BP video that will be posted to YouTube. Uh, I may I may add one to your channel as well. And so that's fine too. Stay tuned to his channel. It's good. I might add a couple. I don't know. I have some. I do have some need to film. I just have to plan that out and figure that out. Yeah. Also, I plan to go to Buffalo for a Bison game. So Same. Same. I'm hoping to possibly film there. It probably won't be as good quality as the Rogers Center one, but yeah. that's the plan. Um, so that's it for ball yeah. hawking uh, videos. We're, and, but I do have some other videos to come. Uh, one more related. Stay tuned. Yeah. It's, it's coming soon. Thank it's you. It's coming soon. Thank it's you. We soon. hope you enjoyed them.